How about we take a couple minute breather? Way ahead of ya. Five and a half miles before collapsing today. Not bad. Ooh, what do I win? I'm 1% less embarrassed by being around you. I don't think I'm that embarrassing to be around. Try saying that while not lying on the ground in dramatic fashion to appear silly. I understand why you think that, and normally, yes, I do this to act silly, but I legit can't move a muscle right now. For real? Yes. Please help? Jeez, I'm honestly sorry about dismissing you like that. It's okay. I don't blame you. Is there something wrong with the suit? I don't think so. Though these past few days, I felt like I've been pushing myself super hard with this and Miranda's recent experiments. If not for the bodysuit, I'd be dead ten times over. I see. I guess the bodysuit can only hold back so much abuse before your actual body gives out. Makes sense to me. Well, let's ease up on the morning runs these next few days, lest you wind up dying from overexertion. Oh, morning, Angela. Great weather for a jog, right? Morning. Hey, Andrea, how you been? Um, I've been well. Have we met? Yeah, back at Elaine's party. I'm sorry, but my mind's blinking at the moment. You don't remember? I ran up to you and then you... Um... We introduced and nothing out of the ordinary happened. Um, okay... I'm a pretty unremarkable person, so I don't blame you for forgetting. My name's Doris. I'm Andrea! Nice to get reacquainted with you! I'll make double sure not to forget you this time. Uh, sorry, my body's a tad incapacitated at the moment. Huh? She overexerted herself and collapsed just before you showed up. Wait, what? Is she okay? Do I need to call an ambulance? Nah, I'm good. Give me a few minutes and I'll be on my feet good as new. If you say so. By the way, Angela, you're still good for this Saturday, right? Yeah. What's going on Saturday? It's nothing, don't worry. A couple of us are getting together for a girl's day out. Oh, nice. Sounds like fun. Say, how about you come along with us? Really? You sure? Totally. Any friend of Angela's is a friend of mine. Wait a sec. She can't. She's not really a... Awesome. I'll go. Fantastic! Angela can fill you in on the details. Can't wait to see you two Saturday! Yeah, see you then. <clears throat> a girl's day out, huh? Never been to one of those before. Well, for obvious reasons, of course. <laughs> hmm? Water? Thanks! I was getting pretty thirsty. <laughs> hmm. The body suit does a poor job preventing its wearer from being waterboarded. Very educational. <coughs> the hell was that for? Also, that wasn't waterboarding, so erase that. Since when did you become pandemic? Why did you accept that invitation? Why not? It sounded like it could be fun. Oh, I see. You're embarrassed I'm gonna embarrass you around your normie friends with my weeb talk. I can't deny that hasn't crossed my mind. But really, I don't want to mix you in the project stuff with my social life. I don't want to be on the clock when hanging out with my friends. Aw, oh, come on! I promise I won't do anything cringy. In fact, I'll stand off to the side and keep silent. It'll be like I'm not even there. I'd rather you be cringy than an awkward, silent, antisocial weirdo. Just promise me you won't make an ass of yourself. Then again, Daphne and Sophia will be there. You mean... I can go? Andrea already invited you, right? Besides, not like I can tell her the real reason why you shouldn't be allowed to a girls only excursion. Yes! I'm in! Who else is gonna be there? People you don't know. Modeling friends? Nah, friends from high school. What are they like? You'll find out soon enough. God damn, I want some fucking dick right now. Come on, let's fucking go pick us up a couple of guys and fuck till morning. Uh, I'm suffering from dick withdrawal. If I don't get any dick soon, I'll die. Then go die by yourself. I never want to interact, nay, see another man for as long as I live. Those despicable creatures of the scum of the earth who care for naught besides their libido. They tell you they love you, that they care about you. All lies. The moment you are in the mood for sex, they'll go behind your back and cheat on you with the nearest slut. Sorry that I'm exhausted after work and all I want to do is relax and watch a movie. Fuck men. Not in that sense. Jesus, Sophie, are you still that upset over Chris? I gave four years of my life to that man. Four years I gave him my heart and soul, acting as a dependable girlfriend. I even cooked and cleaned his apartment for him because he'd say... He was too tired after work to keep his place from becoming a pigsty. He was the one I thought. Oh, the hours I spent daydreaming our wedding. The hour, the house we would move in together where we raise our two and a half kids. Only to catch him pussy deep in some hussy met online. Of course I'm still upset. 
Let's get over it. You'll feel better afterward. One cannot just skip over such a betrayal. Not that I expect you to understand that what with you fucking a total stranger every other night. But look how happy I am compared to you getting bent out of shape over ancient history. Ancient history? It only happened last week. Come on, you two. It's time to stop. Breathe. Count to three. If you don't, I'll have to forcibly separate y'all. Yeah, I've only gone down on three guys since then. That argument isn't the home run you think it sounds. Yo. Time out for the both of you. Sorry. Sophia, Daphne, this is Doris. Doris, Sophia, and Daphne. It's a pleasure to make... Damn, girls. Since when did you know such a bombshell? You look like you jumped straight off the pages of a fashion magazine. She's one of your modeling friends, Angie. Check out the meat in these thighs. I need to take you clubbing with me. I'm sure they'd track five times the guys with you around. Can't you get your mind out of the gutter for five minutes? Ugh. I'm terribly sorry for the vulgarity, Doris. You must forgive Daphne's behavior. For you see, Daphne's a bit of a whore. At least I'm honest about myself. Just ignore her bullshit. Sophia likes to act all sophisticated and crap, all because she went to some Ivy League university. Hark! The jealous whine from a community college dropout who thinks graduating some a cum laud is a detriment. Alas, her idiocy is too cryptic for even the smartest of linguists to understand. She thinks she's so smart, but when she bought her first car, she drove it all the way home from the lot with the emergency brakes on. Nearly destroyed them. So, so what? I didn't notice a salesperson had pulled back the lever after he parked it. It's an honest mistake. But you realize that the second you're out on the road, unless you're a dumbass, because one is not as educated about cars as other does not make one a dumbass. You're so dumb that you confused one with I. Are they always like this? Yes. Come on now, They're, we're all friends here. There's no need for you to get violent with one another, so let's all calm down and... Hiss! Hiss! I said calm your tits! Angie is right, there's no need for bloodshed amongst friends. How about we settle things like mature adults with a little competition? Mm-hmm, I'm game. Well, let's spice things up a bit and put up a wager. Loser has to strip naked and do whatever the winner says for the rest of the day. Scratch off this stripping nonsense and I'm in. Okay, deal. I know just the place where we can compete. Goody, then let's get this girl's day out started. Whoa. I'm beginning to regret coming. <sighs> Batting cages was the first thing in my mind when I heard girls say out. What better way to seize our petty squabbling than with a little sportsmanship? Yeah, right? Plus I can swing a bat around without the cops getting called on me again. All right, all right, all right. Here be the rules. You get one round to get as many hits as you can. Whoever gets the most wins. Got it? Sounds good to me. Let's do this. Question, why are we all competing? I thought this was for the two of them to settle their argument. Why not? It'll be more fun to compete than to sit by and idly watch. Good point. Second question, can we have a practice round? Last time I swung a bat was like, there are no practice rounds in life! You get one shot at it, then you're dead forever, so make it count! Live life to the fullest! Is that a no? Okay, since this was my idea, I'm going first! Stand back and watch the Batmaster work her magic! Hold up! The rules state you have to wear a helmet when you enter the cage! I'm not! Ow! There's no way I'm wearing some stupid helmet! Safety first! Go Daphne! Woo! God, I feel like a doofus. I know what you're trying to do, Andrea. You're trying to throw me off of my game. Well, it ain't gonna work. Just you watch. Mm. The hell's this? Ha ha ha! Fucking balls, get closer to the plate! Ha 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 ha! This is some great A bullshit! Ugh. Now, now, Daphne. No need to take your anger out on the gate. <laughs> what an impeccable display from a true Batmaster! <laughs> oh, fuck off. The damn machine was broken or something. On the contrary, the machine is working as intended. It's just that the cage is set for slow pitch softball. Wait, what? You mean each cage pitches differently? You suggested coming here and didn't know that? I've never been to one before, so sue me. Then why did you suggest it? All right, I get a do-over since I didn't know about the different cages. Nuh uh uh We all get one turn at bat. Those were the rules you put in place. There is no practice round in life, remember? As the Greek philosopher Diogenes once said, karma's a bitch. Go, Sophia, woo! Wait, you're not going to finish your turn? I see no reason to, for I've accomplished what I'd set out to do. Aw, yeah, you see that bitch fucking whooped your sorry ass. Bullshit, it barely touched the bat. Besides, you didn't even swing. Shit doesn't count. The ball made contact with the bat. Does it count as a hit? But yes, cry more so I can taste your salty tears. Come on, that ain't count, right, guys? 
Well, when a batter bunts in baseball, they still treat it as a hit. Why does it matter? Regardless of Sophia's performance, you're still averaging at zero. It's the principle! Principle, she says. Just accept the undeniable fact that I am superior to you. Academically and physically. Try saying that again after my fist goes through your ugly ass face! With your hand, you'll be lucky to hit a brick wall. A brick wall? A brick wall called your flat ass! How dare you! You know I'm sensitive about my butt! You may as well take your turn while we separate these two nitwits. E yeah Cool! Man, zero hits. Guess I've gotten rusty at baseball over the years. Oh, you used to play too? Yeah, kinda, sorta. It was back when I was six, and it was more like t-ball. Really stretching the definition of I used to play baseball there. No, no. Even t-ball requires a level of hand-eye coordination. You did good, Doris. <laughs> Thanks. All right, you're up, Angela. Uh, I guess I'll get it over with. Uh, what's happening here? Why is she glaring at me like this? Is something wrong with the body since she noticed? I got it! Sylvia, Sylvia! Doesn't Doris here look like Ariane? Hmm, now that you mention it, there is an uncanny resemblance. Hey, Angie! Did you become friends with Doris because she looks like Ariane? <laughs> you totally did, didn't you? Envision the ball as Daphne's face. Who's Ariane? She was the upperclassman back when we were freshmen in high school. A real preppy type who was friends with everyone, except a certain somebody. Oh, story time? I don't think Angela would appreciate it. It's ancient history, it's fine. So, this one time we were skipping class, smoking on the bleachers while watching the upperclassmen run laps for PE. For the record, I never skipped class, nor did I participate in their brief smoking stint. Nobody asked. You said we, as if I too was there. Anyway, as we're watching the upperclassmen, Angie suddenly gets up to go use the bathroom. I'm gonna go pee. I'm not your fucking mom, just go. Moments later, a teacher approached me and got on my ass. Of course, I wasn't gonna take the fall alone. Angie was totally here smoking with me, too. She's hiding in the bathroom. I shall take you to her. Dang, you ratted her out quick. So I led the teacher to the nearby locker room where the bathroom was, and I shit you not. Angie was nailed over Ariane's gym bag, rubbing her underwear all over and huffing them like they were cans of sprint pay. I tripped. The teacher forced Andy to write an apology to Ariane for shoving her nose into her panties, thus cementing Angie's status as the biggest perv on campus. <laughs> what? Why would Angela be interested in a girl's under- I was a dumb kid. Everyone's got a story of something dumb they did as a young, horny teenager. Guess I'll take my turn. You live and learn and grow up. Besides, she and I are all good now. I wound up running into her the past year and I patched things up. That's good to hear. Yeah, she was understanding. Afterward, the two of us went out on a few dates, but we weren't a good match for one another. We're just friends now. But before we broke it off, she let me fulfill my teenage dream of grabbing her boobs, which was nice. No shit, damn! Uh, amusing how life turns out sometimes. Yeah. So, how were her knockers? She totally pads, but don't tell anyone I told you. Ha! I fucking called it! You all called me a jealous bitch, but look who's been dictated in the end. Still bigger than yours, though. At least I'm not selling fake goods when I go down on a- Hold up! You're a lesbian?! Are you seriously just figuring that out? But yeah, what's the matter to you? You had the hots for someone I look similar to, right? So does that mean you find me attractive too? Am I like your type? She's totally asking Angie out. Definitely, I think they'd be cute together. Wait, no, I was just curious. The idea that she might actually like me was, I don't know, refreshing? You know I don't mean it like that, right? Considering you're already engaged, I don't see why it matters. But don't you worry, my attraction to you is only skin deep. <laughs> you're engaged? Who is it? Is it someone we know? Um... Who proposed? You or them? Was it romantic? It wasn't. Have you met their parents yet? Or do they keep pushing it off as if they're embarrassed by you? Wait, what? Because if they do, then let me tell you! Hell's the sex? Who's had more sex partners? Have you tried using toys in bed? I've never even had sex! You, a virgin, while rocking that bod? Daphne? Sophia? Your attitudes today have been absolutely atrocious. Even for you two. We're out here to have fun, but all you've done is bicker and cause a scene. And to someone whom you just met today. And to make things worse, you harass this poor girl invading her privacy. I mean, come on. Asking her how many people she and her partner fucked? You should be ashamed. No need to go that far. I'm so sorry, Doris. Today was supposed to be a day of fun. I'm sure we left a horrible impression on you. No, it's cool. Let's just sweep it under the rug. All right, as winner of the contest, I demand that we start the day over. No fighting, just happy fun times. 
Wait, she won? Weren't you paying attention? She hit a perfect game. Okie dokie, girls stay out starts now.